so in the last uh, lecture, what uh, one of the concepts that we discussed was arithmetic modulo. of M and <clears throat> there were two types. One was the addition operator and another was the uh, multiplication uh, modulo. And multiplication. So this is denoted with less than m and this is uh, denoted with dot n than m. Now if uh, you come across an expression such as this then what it means is it's the same as a plus b mod m. So it's for this one. And for multiplication modulo, what we have is it's represented with this, and it means the same as a dot b mod of m. Now, let's take an example. Let's say we have the an expression for addition modulo. So instead of M, we are having 11 here. And for multiplication modulo, let's have 7.119. So let's try to find what will be the end value of both of these. So this will be the same as this will be the same as seven plus nine mod eleven, which is equal to fifteen sorry sixteen mod eleven. So this will be equal to 5, because 5 will be the remainder when you divide 16 by 11. Similarly, for the multiplication modulo, we have 7.119, which is equal to 7 times 9 mod 11. So this will be equal to 63 mod 11. And if you try to divide 63 by 11, you will have 11 times 5 is 55. And you'll get 8 as a remainder. So we'll have 63 mod 11 is 8. So that's what is meant by these arithmetic modulo operators or operations. Um, so whenever in an expression you come across um, symbols such as this, this means it is mod 11 
and again it's more 11 but we are doing multiplication here and here we're doing the addition now it has certain properties uh, all of these operators they follow properties such as closure they follow closure properties which means uh, if for example 0 of m is a set of numbers that denotes all the positive integers from or all the non-negative integers from uh, 0 all the way up to m minus 1 then if we say that a and b if we have an expression a plus m then b and we have let's say an ex another expression a dot m and b the closure property states that if a and b belong to this set z of m then then a plus m b also belongs to this and the a dot m b also belongs to this is one property other than that these operators they follow associativity they follow commutativity uh, they have this identity elements where 0 and 1 are identity elements for addition and multiplication. If, let's say, so, they follow the closure property, they follow the associativity, they follow the commutativity, Other than that, if we have identity elements, which is 0 and 1, which is 0 and 1, uh, if let's say if let's say a belongs to z of m then then a plus m zero if this is the expression is equal to a and similarly a dot m times one is equal to a so it's quite similar to some of it's quite similar to the uh, uh, kind of um, properties that are in the boolean algebra or in the logic um, and they have another property called as additive inverse If let's say a does not belong to zero, so if a is not equal to zero, and let's say it doesn't belong to at the same time, uh, let's say if a is not equal to zero and it belongs to 
z of m then m minus a is the additive inverse of a modulo m and zero is its own additive inverse. So if you have to represent it and make sense of it symbolically, what it means is a which is not equal to zero plus m and the second entity that we have is m minus a this is equal to zero similarly zero plus m zero is equal to zero the other property that these operations follow is called as distributivity so they follow this property which is called as closure and uh, just like the boolean logic and a first order logic they follow this property of associativity and commutativity they have also a notion of or the concept of identity elements where zero and one are identity elements which is when you do these operations uh, the end product that we obtain is a so its identity remains as it is that's why they are called identity elements similarly we have additive inverse where if we do the operation between a and m minus a then what we get is zero and it is for the case of the uh, modulo addition and then uh, what we ha have is the concept of distributivity which is quite similar to in the boolean arithmetic uh, boolean and um, first order logic